Okay, so I'm just going to run through how to do a backup in Big Red Book version 4. Just um, a note regarding backups. Um, it's absolutely vital that you take your backups of your Big Red Book data uh, on a regular basis. We would recommend doing this on a daily basis. Um, you should do your backup to the computer itself and also to external devices such as a USB or an external hard drive. And not doing so, you're running the risk of losing your data if your PC crashed or if you got a virus and essentially having to re-enter your data again is the risk there. Even if you have an automatic or online backup facility, um, we'd still recommend doing manual backups just to be sure. Um, to be absolutely sure, it's still very important. So even if you have an automatic facility, take the manual backups regularly as well. If you get any errors backing up um, or any messages saying that the backup did not complete, close Big Red Book, reopen it and try backing it up again. Um, you can also try restarting the machine, opening it and trying to back it up again. If the issue still occurs, um, if you contact a Big Red Book support team, we'll take a look at it. Um, in addition to that as well, uh, so we'll just we'll actually begin the process now of the actual physical backup. So if you open up Big Red Book, highlight the company that you want to back up. In this case, I'm going to back up slot 001. Click backup. Click yes. Uh, if you're happy with what's in the location there, that's where it's going to back it up to. You can leave it as it is. If not, click on the browse button there. And uh, in this case, I'm just going to click the desktop. This is the location for it to back up to. So once you've that selected, you'll see a change here in location. Then you move on to this stage here. If you want to add a password, you tick this. Just be aware that you will not be able to access the restored Big Red Book file um, if you don't remember the password that you added. Um, so it is very important if you do add a password, ensure that you, ha that you know what that password is. Um, you can include book inquiry files and invoice statement forms as well. Um, within the backup and um, basically what's within the company regarding those if you tick those it'll uh, copy those as well just for the purpose of this backup I'm going to leave these unticked so we click OK then you'll get a message update backup default location this means whatever location you chose to back up to if you want to set that as the default location in other words when you open it next time it'll look to that location automatically you click yes uh, otherwise just click no and once that's done, you get a message saying backup complete. So if we check our desktop here, you see that the Big Red Book backup is now appearing there. So it'll, be, it'll appear with a BRB and a number after it uh, for the version 4. Um, one thing to be aware of, it's very important uh, to know that when you're taking the backups, if you do a backup of the same company slot, in other words, if I was to backup slot 001 again to the same location, so the desktop, it'll overwrite this backup. So it's very important to be aware of this, um, particularly if you have any old years in those other slots and in, they might have a new year in that same slot. If you back up to the same location that that old year was held, it, it will overwrite it. So I just recommend is if that does happen, just cr or if you do need to back up that same slot, just create a folder. Say, for example, uh, the old year that was in it was 2009. You could just call it 2009 BRB Backup. And just puts backup directly into that and never back up into that location again so that's just if you're backing up the same slot just to be aware that it will overwrite uh, the, the, if the location is the same it'll overwrite that same backup in that location and um, so that concludes the backing up of figure book version 4